know, you messed it up. <laughs> You're stupid. And for today's Daily Dose of Stupid, this has got to be one of the dumbest business moves I have ever seen. And I'm not saying it's dumb from a overall PR standpoint. I'm saying when you're looking at the marketplace, you're looking at what people demand and what you're willing to provide. This is a really, really bad business decision. So for those of you who don't know, and this is a story right out of Alabama, Ford has put a kibosh on one of the coolest promotional deals I have ever heard of. So for those of you who don't know, Chatham Ford in, in Chatham, Alabama, was running an Independence Day sale promo. If you bought a car, you also got included with your vehicle an American flag. And I'm, I'm not talking about a little bitty stick American flag. This is a pretty good size American flag. I would show you in, uh, in my studio right now, but I'd have to turn the camera and that wouldn't work. But uh, I'm talking about a, a pretty good size American flag. So you got an American flag a King James Version Bible, and a 12-gauge shotgun for free. These things were all included with the, the car or truck that you got from Ford. Now, I'm not a Ford guy, but, I mean, come on, that's pretty freaking awesome. You get a Bible, a shotgun, and a flag included in it, and that's part of the Independence Day sale. Because, first of all, it's just an amazing way to promote Independence Day. Because the flag, that's pretty obvious. But then you've also got the Bible and a, a firearm. Part of the reason we fought the Revolutionary War was because they were trying to restrict those things. We didn't want to be a part of the Church of England. A lot of the reason that people left and came to America was specifically for religious liberty, that they didn't want to be part of the, the Church of England or the churches from the various countries that they came from. And the British were also engaged in gun confiscation. And so one of the very first things that we did when we became a country, about 10 years after we got our independence from Britain, we came up with some things that we would want our government to never be able to do. And what was at the top of the list? Freedom of religion and the right to keep and bear arms. And so this is just a great way to celebrate Independence Day is that you've got two things there that really symbolize America's struggle for freedom, which is what Independence Day is supposed to be all about. Now, obviously, there were other things. You also had the, the whole thing without being taxed without representation. That was, of course, a, a bigger rallying cry with, than these other two things. But if you look in the Bill of Rights, each of the 10 Bill of Rights, you can go back to something that was happening either during or before the Revolutionary War and explain why that was considered a right and why they wanted to make sure the federal government could never trample on those 10 specific things. All of those things go back to the Revolutionary War. And freedom of religion and the right to keep and bear arms are no different. And so, I mean, it's just a great promotion, whether you're looking at it historically. And, and another thing, too, there's just nothing more American than that. The flag, a gun, and the Bible. I mean, that's about as American as it gets. And anytime you're running any kind of business you got to know your base. This is South Alabama. People love their Bibles. They love their guns. They love America. And the people that are going to be more likely to buy Fords are also people who tend to be more patriotic. Now, that doesn't mean that people who buy foreign cars are unpatriotic, nor does it mean that people that buy American car brands because they like them are necessarily patriotic people. But there is a much higher percentage of people that are buying Fords or Chevys or Dodges, or now Rams, since they're a separate company now. There is a higher percentage of people like that that do care about patriotism, do care about buying American, that are going to be at least more likely to be drawn to things like that. And so the people that are running this promotion, they know their audience. This is not too far outside of Mobile. They know their audience. They know that this is something that their community likes and that they're going to be able to move. They're trying to make more out of this than it really should be. This is really no different than if there were a Subaru dealership somewhere up in Washington or Oregon 
that was, for example, with every car you get a Che Guevara shirt, a sickle and hammer flag, and pumpkin spice lattes. Like, they know their audience. And if they were doing that, as dumb as that would be, it would probably move some cars. And just like that, the Ford Motor Company, who gets an awful lot of its sales on trucks, and knows that th these are going to be, you know, sort of manly men, pride of America, that kind of personality, they know that that's the kind of people that are buying their product. I mean, in the same way you would put a whole bunch of American paraphernalia up around a barbecue joint. You wouldn't do that at a Chinese place. It would be super weird to walk into a Chinese restaurant and <laughs> the first thing you see is a giant Statue of Liberty and American flags everywhere. It would just be strange. You don't see that when you walk into a Chinese place. Why? Because it doesn't fit the motif. If you're going to a Chinese restaurant, it's because you're somebody that likes Chinese food and you're expecting a certain atmosphere. The reason that places like barbecue joints or Americana kind of restaurants, the reason that those places have a certain, I don't know, je ne sais quoi, a certain atmosphere around their business is because they know who they're selling to. And this is no different. This is a truck dealership in South Alabama. Yes, their people like flags and Bibles and guns. That's common sense. And so uh, people got upset about this. They're making way more out of this than they should. What's really dumb is that Ford put a kibosh on the whole thing. They stopped it. Which, at the corporate level, I get that they may be, I don't know, worried about bad PR in other parts of the country, but I gotta believe that this is not a big deal. Because even people that would think that this would be silly would probably just look at that and roll their eyes and go, ah, Alabama. That's not something that's going to cause somebody to not buy a Ford. Heck, when I first saw the article before I read it, I didn't even know that it was a Ford dealership. I just saw the headline and uh, noticed that before I actually delved into it and read some research. I was like, huh, that's funny. I didn't even realize that it was the Ford Motor Company that was doing this. And so it's not the Ford corporate, it's the people at the individual dealership. But uh, there was a statement that I found in the Washington Post from a representative at Ford. Quote, Ford Motor Company wasn't aware or, uh, aware or involved in this promotion, said Ford Motor Company spokesman Mark Trubby, who said the dealership had promised to, quote, stop talking about it as God's guns and glory. So basically what they've done is they've changed the name. They still want to offer the promotion and they want to honor their promises to their customers, but they're not going to talk about in their, their promo, God's gun and glory. They're just going to talk about God and glory, I guess. I don't know. But that seems to be the, the route that they're taking. I have to say, I'm honestly kind of surprised that they got rid of the gun part, but they let them keep the Bible part. To me, that seems like they would have been more worried about that. So I will, even though I think it's dumb that Ford did this, I'll at least give them kudos for that. They said, yeah, you want to hand out Bibles to people? You can do that. That's fine. They decided not to, to put a kibosh on that. I, I am appreciative of the Ford com Motor Company for at least doing that. I still think it's dumb that they got rid of them talking about the gun, though. But according to Kobe Palmer, who is the sales manager at this dealership, he said that the feedback was overwhelmingly positive and sales were going up. So, in other words, it was working. They were moving merchandise, they were moving cars and trucks, because people were coming and, and looking around. And I gotta be honest, I'm not even a Ford guy, and there's no chance that I would have bought a Ford, because I'm a Ram guy. But... I'm not going to lie, if I hear about that promotion going on, I'm kind of tempted to at least swing by the dealership and check it out. I mean, come on, if nothing else, idle curiosity draws you into that. And so, yeah, I can totally see this upping sales and making a, a big difference for them. So really doesn't surprise me at all. But another thing to, to note about this, too, is that the people that freaked out about it, they were talking about it as though they were just giving random people shotguns that they were walking up, buying a truck, here you go, there's a shotgun, and then the guy just drives off. That's not what was happening. The whole thing stems from th the way that they handled it is, when you walked in and you bought your, your car, you got the flag in the Bible right then and there, and then they had a partnership with a gun dealership that was like the next town over or something like that, according to the story. And so you got a gift certificate and you went over and you purchased 
the gun, but you still had to go through the background check. This was a federal license, uh, a federal firearm license place. They have a federal firearms license. And so just like anywhere else, you have to go through a background check. It wasn't that they were just handing out shotguns to random people. You had to go through the normal process of purchasing a gun just like everybody else. And so this is no different than them giving a $200 gift certificate to Bass Pro and the person using it to buy a gun. The only difference was they were promoting specifically guns as a part of it. And that's eventually what happened. That They're still doing the deal. You're just getting a gift certificate for the money to buy a gun as opposed to getting a gift certificate for the gun itself. So you're still kind of getting the same deal. It does hack me off a little bit, though, that they can't promote it as being a gun because I got to be honest, that's a big part of what was drawing people into this. I mean, the fact that it's a little bit strange and a little bit weird and something that you haven't really heard of is what got people curious in the first place. Now, the Bibles may still accomplish that to a degree, but the shotgun, I mean, come on, that was that was really something that sticks out. Hey, you want to get a free shotgun with your purchase of a truck? Come on now, nobody's going to be, you know, buying a $30,000 F-150 just so they can get a $200 shotgun. But it's still a cool promo. And I really do hate that Ford decided to uh, spoil everybody's fun about this, but I think that this is just another case, and the reason I think it's so stupid is they stopped a practice at a local dealership that was working and making sales just because they were worried about how some people in other parts of the country might react. It was much ado about nothing, and I think that's pretty clear. Normally, this is the part of the video where you would expect me to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel, but the truth is, I don't really care whether you do or not. In fact, you know what? Don't subscribe. It's not like there's a lot of really important stuff going on in the world in the state of Alabama that you should probably be aware of. So, yeah, go ahead and subscribe. Or don't. I don't really care. Reverse psychology. Boom.